In this morning's Rebound Detroit, experts say summertime is the perfect time for a mid-year financial checkup. Right now, people are enjoying family vacations, summer camps, and backyard barbecues, and of course, all of that costs money. Now, many of us struggle to track our finances ordinarily, and the pandemic is only making it harder. After all, we've seen massive changes since last March. We've lost millions of jobs, including some jobs that are never coming back. And today, millions of Americans will receive the first advance payment of the higher child tax credit. Now, to use that tax credit wisely, it's important to know where you stand financially. So what should you look for in a mid-year financial checkup? Well, I went looking for answers to help you have a strong finish to 2021. Whether it's preparing for a big buy. Certain um, expenses that are coming up, I will reevaluate what we're doing. Or a growing family. I have one eight-year son and also another baby girl on, uh, on the way. There are a million reasons to keep a close eye on your finances. Kirk Cassidy is a financial instructor for the Retirement Education Foundation. He says treat your financial health like your physical health. And with your physical health, we go to the doctor for checkups. And I personally believe the middle of the year is a great time to check up on your finances. That's because it gives you time to course correct. Cassidy says your checkup should begin with your budget. Are you spending more than you're bringing in? With back to school right around the corner and holiday spending coming up, the time to tighten the belt is now. It gives you some time to pivot so you don't go into debt. Step two, make sure your beneficiaries are up to date on your checking and savings accounts, 401k, and all of your important financial documents like your will, insurance, and financial and health care powers of attorney. That's a powerful and painful lesson of the pandemic. 2020 was a horrific year, but it did teach us a lot of lessons. And one of those important lessons where we don't get to control when we get sick or if we die. So who should have a will? Well, the answer depends on your stage in life. If you're married, have kids, or a lot of assets, then the answer is yes. A will is necessary to make your wishes known. If you don't have your beneficiaries updated properly, it creates a nightmare for your loved ones. Next is your emergency fund on life support. Lots of us used our savings to help get through the pandemic, and now is the time to start building it back up for the next rainy day. Six to 12 months of liquid savings for any sort of unexpected event that comes up in the near future. Finally, you'll also want to check your credit report. I'm looking to purchase a house. That's why I'm building my credit. I'm purchasing a house and a business coming soon. According to the Federal Trade Commission, one in four consumers found errors on their credit report that could impact their credit scores. And that was before millions of Americans received deferred payments, forbearance, and lower interest rates and monthly payments. The volume of these changes could mean more errors for the average Average American consumer. No matter where you are in life, coming out of the pandemic, some things are just not that important, has forced many of us to rethink what's important and focus on what's dear. So how often should you conduct a financial checkup? Well, it really depends on your age. Cassidy says if you're under 50, typically once a year is good enough. But as you approach 50, conducting that review twice a year is a good idea. He says that'll help you keep an, an eye on your spending, your savings and investments to make sure you stay on track with your financial goals. And you